survive as man. Oh my god. Oh wow, I hope they got that on camera. <laughs> what a great session, lad. Great session, lad. Boys have trained well. Sunny outside today too, but um, I'll tell you what I could do with a coffee. Should we go get one? My shout. Really? Let's go. I know a very rare for an Englishman, but I'll, uh, I'll break the trend here. JD. I know we're coach and player now, but once upon a time we you know, we, we played against each other, didn't we, in England at one time? Yes, you've shown me the highlights of your, uh, your left foot step that got me. <laughs> no, it was only one so on it. Yeah, it was a uh, trial game. Pre season game. Traditional Bradford Bulls versus Keithley Cougars. How was your time at Keithley? It was good. Shaped my coaching really well, actually, because we, uh, we had nothing. So it was a, so you were player coach basically. Yeah, player coach, but who was the coach there then? Is <laughs> it you don't want to name names? No, I was the coach. Oh were you? Yeah, I, oh, I, I right played then. and I was uh, head coach, but that's what, my dad used to do that a lot. Quite regular in uh, those sort of lower league teams, didn't it? Yeah. Well, I was I was keen to retire, but we didn't have money to sign players, so I knew I could still offer a bit in the lower leagues. Yeah. So I picked and choose when I trained and. Did you like it or? Well, it had it's a bit different in its challenges because you've got to, I suppose, first and foremost, you've got to back up what you're talking about. So you got, you know, you can't be given a, a half-time talk if you're out there playing terrible. A bit like a captain in it, I suppose. Yeah, very similar. And I'd captained Wakefield for five years prior to that, so I, you know, sort of a. But yeah, you know, I had a good group, good group of young players that sort of give me. A, back a bit of enjoyment as well because they just love playing they're not not about the money or the yeah. papers or anything they just love playing footy was that um you were all seven when you were at wake again and dimitri did well and marks it even better and dimitri steps out of the challenges and he scores jason dimitri does he get the try for wakefield Best years, wasn't it? Yeah, it would have been my best year. It was um, Man of Steel, nearly, wasn't it? Yeah, I was shortlisted for Man of Steel with James Roby and Trent Barrett. Yeah, I remember that. It's Sam's, Sam's first, first proper, proper year. Proper yeah. year. Oh! I was watching Super League a lot then. Yeah, I remember seeing the name on the back of the shirt. Yeah. Dimitri, it's a bit different. He's always a very yeah. aggressor. You know, there's some years you'll know where you just you feel like you everything goes for you. Your body's good, you're fit, you're strong, you're confident. We were about to have our we had our second child midway through that year. Family was good, so yeah, no, it was it was a, definitely a highlight of my career that year. Father, aren't you? Three girls. A lot of things you do is for them, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, well. I'll be looking towards your uh, guidance, I think, when they get into the teens, that's for sure. Yeah, let's just say it, uh, they're really enjoyable when they're young. Yeah, um, daddy's girls. No, nah, they are. They, they still are daddy's girls uh, to some extent, but um, yeah. So growing up, like obviously in England, they, they love coming to the footy and stuff like that? Or? Yeah, yeah, they, I mean, they were obviously born into it. Uh, I was playing professionally when they were born, and uh, especially the older two, they loved it. Um, I remember my last Super League game carrying them around the Wakefield after we played Warrington, and yeah, it was a pretty, pretty special moment to have the girls out out in the field with you, and you know the club making a, a tunnel when I played my last game, and the girls and Natalie walking out in the field with me. So. I actually signed for York to, to play part-time because I couldn't get a job coaching and then into the December the, the job came about at, at Keithley and it was handy because my wife Natalie just had our third daughter Sienna and obviously we train at nights when you're part-time so it allowed me to be home during the day and uh, help yeah, out a bit. Third daughter, mm. how many years? 
three and a half years between the middle to the, and the youngest and two and a half years to the oldest. It's about five years, six years between them. Let's get that coffee. Yeah. What's yeah, yours, mate? Thank you. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Is it an actual coffee? Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Almond.